Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Fiesta Gardens Library. And today we are going to be talking about the Day of the Dead, El Dia de los Muertos. Many of you may be celebrating this, or maybe you did over the weekend, and it's really just honoring those people who we lost in our lives, but we always, always remember them in our hearts. The book I would like to read to you today is titled A Gift for Abuelita, Celebrating the Day of the Dead. And the author is Nancy Luen. Rosita and her grandmother spent every day together. Her mother was very, very busy, but Abuelita always had time for Rosita. Mira, Rosita, look, her grandmother said. She held up three strands of yarn. Each takes a turn crossing over the other. One strand alone can be broken, but when they are woven together, they make a cord that is very strong. Like my love for you and your love for me. With patient hands, she taught Rosita how to braid. One morning, they made up a song about making tortillas. What do my hands say, pla, pla, pla? What does the pan say, tss, tss, tss? What does my mouth say, mm, mm, mm? Down in my tortillas. They laughed as they stacked up the finished tortillas. Abuelita scolded the day she discovered Rosita pulling up plants in the garden. I'm weeding, protested Rosita. Those are not weeds, replied Abuelita. She showed Rosita what to pull and what to save. These little plants are chilies. We will harvest them together. This year you can help me make salsa. Rosita was pleased. She liked helping her grandmother cook. Then Abuelita got sick. Soon she was too weak to work in the garden. Rosita sat by her grandmother's bed, braiding and telling her stories. The chilies are fat now, she told Abuelita. When you are well, we will pick them together. But before the chilies could ripen, Abuelita died. Rosita missed her very much. She missed the soap scent of Abuelita's everyday dress the pla 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 of their hands shaping dough for tortillas. She missed the strong warmth of her grandmother's arms. She wanted to hear Abuelita's voice whisper, good night. Abuelita is in heaven with the angels, Mama told Rosita at bedtime. She will watch over you while you are sleeping. Rosita did not want Abuelita to be with the angels. She wanted her at home. We need Abuelita here, Rosita told Abuelo in October. Her grandfather nodded, his brown eyes glistened. Yes, he said, I miss her too. You can show Abuelita how much you miss her, mija. Make her a gift for when she visits us on the Day of the Dead. On the Day of the Dead, families remember the people they love who have died. Each family makes an ofrenda at an altar to welcome the dead. Everybody makes gifts for the altar. But what can I make? Rosita wondered. What are you making? She asked her brother Carlos just before the holiday. Is it a gift for the altar? Yes, said Carlos, a lizard for Tio Antonio. He always liked lizards. Rosita's father was in the marigold garden. What are you making? She asked him. A harvest of flowers for the altar and graves. Abuelo Leon loved these flowers. Rosita found her mother in the kitchen. What are you making, she asked her. Chicken and mole for Tia Dolores, it was her favorite. What are you making, Rosita asked Abuelo. Is it for me, Abuelita? Yes, I am weaving this blanket to keep her soul warm. The different things they can make. Rosita remembered something she knew how to do. She asked Abuela for three long strands of yarn. Then she sat near his loom in the courtyard and started to braid, just as Abuelita had taught her. She braided the following morning as well when her family went to the market. They sold some flowers and bought candles and incense, apples and bread for the dead. What a beautiful braid, said the woman who sold them the bread. Gracias, 
but it isn't finished yet, said Rosita. All the way home on the bus, Rosita worked on her braid. The cord reached from the tips of her fingers past her elbow. These illustrations are beautiful. That afternoon, Rosita's family prepared the ofrenda. Mama and Rosita brought food from the kitchen, tortillas and chicken and brown mole sauce. Rosita helped her mother light a candle for each soul they were remembering. One for your Tio Antonio and one for Abuelo Leon, said Mama. One for Tia Dolores and one for our dear Abuelita. Then everyone added their gifts to the altar. Where's your braid, asked Mama. It isn't finished yet, said Rosita. All afternoon, friends came to visit, bringing their gifts for the dead. As each person arrived, Rosita stopped braiding and hurried to greet them. Abuelita never came. When will I see her, Rosita asked Carlos. Silly, he said. You won't be able to see her. Spirits are invisible. If spirits are invisible, Rosita asked Papa, how will I know Abuelita is here? You will feel that she is near, said Papa. The next day, Rosita and her family went to the graveyard. They pulled weeds and washed gravestones. When the graves looked beautiful and new again, they spread out a picnic. As they ate, they told stories of the people they remembered. Will Abuelita be here soon, Rosita asked. Think of all the things you loved about Abuelita, Mama suggested. Then she will know where to find you. Rosita continued to braid her cord and remembered. She remembered her grandmother's husky voice when they sang the song about making tortillas. She remembered the tales Abuelita told her while she cooked chilies for salsa. Rosita braided, remembering all she had loved. As twilight deepened, Rosita finished her braid. It was as tall as she was. Rosita sat by her grandmother's grave, stroking the cord with her fingers. In it, she had braided the things she remembered, the scent of her grandmother's dress, the pla, pla, pla of her hands and the tortillas, her songs and her scolding even, her tales and the taste of her salsa. Closing her eyes, Rosita began to feel warm as if she were safe in her grandmother's arms. Soft wings brushed her face like a kiss. Then in her heart, a husky voice whispered, Buenas noches, Rosita. Oh, Abuelita, you came. Mira, I made this for you. She laid her gift over the grave and she knew that, like the braid, the cord of their love was too strong to be broken. The end. A Gift for Abuelita, Celebrating the Day of the Dead by Nancy Luen. Who were you celebrating? Who are you remembering? I am remembering my mom. She died many, many years ago, but I always remember her, especially on this day. Bye-bye, students. See you next time.